me so close And I don't wanna take a trip in the world But I can love you Yeah, I'm gonna love you I'll give you the world of what I've got The friends and friends, baby, I have not Okay, so really quick, we gotta talk about this bike that I just got it looks so innocent. It looks like a little commuting bike. Well, let me show you real quick, okay? This is what I'm talking about. Okay, look at this thing. It's got a little cargo thing, okay? It's got another little cargo thing. And then it's got this little V here. And what is this V for? So you can step in. It's a foldable bike, right? It has little tiny wheels, okay? Look how innocent it looks. It's got little high handlebars. It looks like a grocery getter, right? You bring your groceries, you put it there, put it there you don't bring your kids you don't you ride this thing solo okay adjustable seat all of that stuff do you even understand how freaking fast this is okay this thing is so fast let me just hold up let me just let's just back up for a second oh shit okay <laughs> that just slide in so much smoother you guys you don't even understand this bike is insane i almost killed myself okay i'm a mom i'm like not prepared for this kind of speed okay first of all first of all when i was going i put it in zero there's three modes okay there's zero one two three four and five so there's five modes that's a lot of modes okay zero means there is no electric power it's just a regular bicycle so you're just pedaling like this da 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 da, -da. okay then I put it into mode one and I'm like, all right, so it's going to give me a little bit of like a push, like a little bit, a little, a little acceleration, if you will. Okay. So I put it into mode one. Guess what happens? My neck literally went like this. You're not, you're not supposed to this in mode one. Okay. You're supposed to like this in mode one. Do you know how crazy that is? Okay. So I'm thinking like maybe. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just wasn't prepared. So I'm gonna lean forward and I'm gonna put it in mode two. I'm riding like this. I'm like, all right. I want a fast bike, but like I don't want to like kill myself. This is it. This is your bike. And when I got to level five, I was flying down. I felt a little uncomfortable. Like I'm a mom now. Like I don't want these thrills anymore. I felt a little unsafe, but the max speed is only 25 miles an hour. Like how is that even possible? Okay. But let's, you know, let's just take a break and let's just go over the specs really quick. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever ridden electric, but I haven't, but I did look up the specs because this is very, very similar to the electric bike, but here's the difference, okay? This bike retails for $800. The electric retails for $1,000. This little motor right here, this thing is 750 watts versus the electric is only 500. And this thing has 960 watts peak. So this thing has dual front suspension. See, so there's one and two, okay? The electric only has single front suspension. And this giant battery right here, this huge little battery thing, okay, it's actually not that huge. Like, let's just back up. It's really not that big. But this battery here is 52 watts versus the electric is only 48 watts, okay? And the best part is this entire bike is only 68 pounds, which is not heavy at all. These tires, which I did say were small, they're actually pretty big, but they're not that big because they're pretty small. So I'm, <laughs> I'm contradicting myself, but they are 20 inch fat tires. And look at this awesome display. It's super clear. So it tells you your battery, your miles per hour, your trip, and you could see your modes here, which is your up and down button. So you could see mode one, two, three, four, five, which is crazy mode, but we're just gonna not say that. And then you could change it to your miles or your miles per hour or your trip, or your average, whatever you want. Your gear shifter by Shimano, which I think is pretty standard on a lot of these bikes. This bike takes about six and a half hours for a full charge and will go 90 miles, which is a lot. You can commute for days 
and then not even have to charge it, which is really cool. And look at this cool little brake light. See? Okay, if you're probably wondering what the rider height would be, so I'm 5'4", this bike is great for anyone 5'4 to 6'2". And let me just show you how easy it is to get in this thing. Look at that, look at that, so easy. I don't gotta lift my leg, nothing. Just a little pop, a pop, little pop, little squat right there. Look at this. Okay, it's a little tall. I just got really scared because I got on and then I was tiptoeing and for a moment I had like, I panicked a little bit. But you know what, that's beside the point because when you get on this bike normally, like a normal person, unlike what I was doing, you would put your foot on the pedal and then start to pedal. So let me just show you really quick. This is how you would start, okay? Don't do what I did, that's weird. Don't, like, there's no reason you should be sitting on the seat and trying to touch the ground like this. Like, there's no reason. Don't, don't do this. That was a bad example. Regardless, this is easy. This is easy. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna take this bike and we're gonna put some stuff onto it and we're gonna go ride around and see what happens. Uh, and I'm also gonna show you how retardedly fast this thing is. Okay, so I got a bag of groceries here that I have bungee corded to the front. Obviously it's gonna work better in the back, but we're gonna test the front just because it's a little bit smaller. There's this little key, okay? You could pop it on, pop it off. This is the ignition, so you have to have the key to turn this thing on. There's a power button right here. You're gonna wait for the screen to turn on, and you're gonna get going. All right, here we go. All right, so right now I am in mode zero. So obviously I'm just pedaling. There is no assist right now, no electric power, which by the way, this right here is your little throttle thing, so you can kind of use that. Okay, so now as I'm pedaling, I'm gonna go ahead and press it into mode one. And it's pretty stable. See, we're still, we're pretty good. I'm gonna go into mode two, and that's when it just kind of accelerates. It just starts pushing me. And then mode three, oh, shoot, oh my gosh. Okay, and then, my pedaling, I can barely even keep up. It's going so fast. I go to four. You can almost hear the motor and how it just like kicks in. All right, mode five, and it's accelerating even more. But it's, <laughs> this is kind of scary. We're, we're getting up to 28 here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so no pedaling, twist throttle only. I'm only going 20. So now we're gonna throw in some pedaling and our speed picks way up. And now we're going 28. If you wanna go fast, pedal. If you wanna go 20 miles an hour, then just use the thumb throttle, I mean the twist throttle. And I'm not even pedaling that fast, I'm just pedaling at a normal speed. It's just enough to kick in the electric motor so you don't have to be all crazy and get all like, you know, like this. You just gotta pedal like a normal person. <laughs> People have been giving me weird looks because I'm wearing a full-blown moto helmet on this little step-through electric bike where I'm just pedaling with a bag of groceries <laughs> in the front. Now, we're just gonna kind of test how, I mean, obviously this bike's not meant for this, so don't, don't think that you're gonna buy this bike and go off-road. So I'm not really going off-road, I'm just going down a slightly bumpy trail here. You know, just in case, I don't know where you live, but you gotta cut through some corners and you're like, I need to cut behind some of these houses and I get, need to get home, get my groceries there. These uh, fat tires are meant to help with a lot of that traction. And I will say the seat is actually very comfortable. So although this bike does not have rear suspension, this is a fairly comfortable ride. Okay, oh, maybe I should uh, go down to some, some gears here. Five is a little intense. I don't think I need to be, oh geez. I don't think I need to be blasting through here at like 30 miles an hour, you know what I mean? 
But yeah, so if you guys hit any potholes, this thing has some pretty, some pretty good uh, handling here. So like I said, don't think that you're gonna buy this thing and just instantly go off road and stuff because it's not meant for that. And also, I don't know if I mentioned, but the seat is actually adjustable too. So you can lift it higher if you're taller or this is the lowest that goes. So you saw me tiptoeing on the If you guys enjoyed this video let me know uh, if you're looking for a great commuter bike that can hold a lot of groceries this is gonna be your bike uh, if you're looking to get one pick one up for yourself there's a link in my description otherwise I will see you guys in the next video peace I be that young rapping dude might just trap with you coming with the thunder baby might just clap it through I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike all black, I'm the party type And it's on tonight, I just step